Urgent news. Coinbase has agreed on a listing with XRP. XRP to $95,000. Recently, a member of the Coinbase crypto exchange community posted a statement on his Twitter account that a major American exchange is reusing XRP. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. Although there is no confirmation of this information at the moment, it is likely that Coinbase will return coin trading on its platform. After Ripple's lawsuit with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, many exchanges and trading platforms, including Coinbase, stopped trading XRP, while others massively removed the cryptocurrency. Now, a Twitter user under the pseudonym XRP hinted that the Coinbase exchange may be ready to resell the digital asset Ripple, which is in a fighting state. Attaching photo evidence, which can be seen below, he noted that back-end work is already underway. As expected, this post has attracted the attention of the XRP army, who are excited about the possible re-inclusion of Coinbase. In general, this gives investors hope that more large crypto exchanges can follow their example and resume coin trading. Positive news in the proceedings gives impetus to the continued existence of the coin. In the SEC's historic lawsuit against Ripple Labs, the judge involved in the discovery process recognized the viability of XRP as a currency and its utility. During a virtual hearing on the SEC's request to obtain personal finance records of Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Chairman Chris Larson, attorney Jeremy Hogan noted that some unexpected comments were made. According to the lawyer, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, inadvertently indicated that cryptocurrency exchanges resuming XRP trading would not violate any laws. In particular, it was noted that in accordance with Section 4 of the Securities Act, only Ripple and its affiliates are responsible for illegal sales of XRP. On the social network Twitter, the hashtag hashtag RealistXRP has gained huge popularity in countries such as the USA, Australia, and the UK. The online campaign aims to convince cryptocurrency exchanges around the world that have excluded XRP to re-enable the token. There have been many important events concerning Coinbase and XRP, and this has led many to believe that Coinbase is preparing to make a relisting of XRP. The entire XRP community is of course waiting for official statements about this. It has to happen someday, and the evidence leads many to believe that it will happen in the near future. Some are waiting for this as early as next week. It all started with the transfer of 40 million XRP to the Coinbase wallet on February 17th. Now why would Coinbase transfer 40 million XRP to its exchange a week before Biden's executive order on crypto? Recall that the Coinbase crypto exchange was the first to suspend XRP trading in January 2021 after initiating a lawsuit. But it's not the first time that rumors about relisting appear, we wrote about it here. This idea is being actively promoted in the blogging environment. Allegedly, the crypto exchange knows about some agreements between Ripple and the SEC. So far, of course, this idea is not attached to anything and gives a muse for the creativity of crypto bloggers. That's just the interest of the public is fueled by transfers between internal wallets, as it turned out, of the Coinbase exchange. We also remind you that the crypto exchange has suspended only trading with all XRP pairs, but it allows users to store, replenish and withdraw XRP without any restrictions. Banco Galicia, one of the largest banks in Argentina, has reportedly become the first bank in a South American country to offer its clients cryptocurrency trading services. Currently, customers can buy, sell or store only four crypto assets, Bitcoin, dollar BTC, Ether, dollar ETH, USD coin, dollar USDC, and XRP, although the bank says it does not exclude support for other crypto assets. In the future, Banco Galicia, founded in 1905, calls itself the most important Argentine private bank and is a subsidiary of Grupo Financiero Galicia, which is a financial services holding company based in Buenos Aires. On May 2, Argentine economist Ignacio Esteban Carballo tweeted several screenshots from the bank's new crypto service. Then he told some details about the company providing storage services. For the curious, storage by a third-party company. Like Paxos with PayPal in the USA and Mercado Pago, here it is called Lirium. Initially, it will only be a closed cycle, buying and selling pesos crypto without mobility between users slash platform. 
We'll have to see how it goes. Lyrium is a great company that employs a lot of Argentine and Latin American talents, many of whom previously worked at Zapo. As Paxos becomes the dominant player in the world, it is nice to see that the market of regional providers is developing. He continued. It was a secret of the policy that banks and fintech are studying this model after international cases such as PayPal, Robinhood, Mercado Pago, BBVA. The amazing thing is that the first step is taken from the bank. And it starts generating a domino effect. As soon as the cryptocurrency as a service model is launched, we will undoubtedly soon see this development in almost all financial players who seek to stand out in innovation. What does it mean? That the only crypto players should also be different. In a word, the best has already arrived. Finally, he posted the following image of the bank's announcement of a new service, which contains the following explanation of why this service was introduced. We conducted a survey of our clients, and more than 60% of them want to include these assets in their investment portfolio, while the youngest public needs them the most. A few hours later, Brobank, a digital Argentine bank headquartered in Buenos Aires, tweeted that it had also started rolling out a cryptocurrency trading service to select customers. Currently, Brobank supports the following crypto assets, $BTC, $ETH, $USDC, and $DAI. Hoyan at Brubankarg Habilitaran Crypto. Tanto Stablecoins, Como BTC YETH. Impression and K Desdi and Banco Habilitado por El BCRAS y Pueden Comprar Criptomonedas, La Revolution Crypto Lego para Cuadars, Bravo. On the daily chart, the price of XRP in today's session is moving like a roller coaster. In April, the token depreciated by almost 35%. The downward momentum pushed the price to multi-month lows as the sales momentum in May was still maintained. In addition, the price is subject to further downside risk, as the 50-day SMA still makes it difficult for the asset to recover. The main support area is at the level of zero. $55, a break below may lead to an additional drop in the price. A sharp drop in the price of XRP is now expected, as a higher volume, together with a large red candle, provides a breakthrough of long-standing support at $0. 55 with an eye to $0. 40. On the other hand, the recovery of bullish investor sentiment may push the price up. But the price has to face $0. 65 to retest the 50-day EMA, exponential moving average, at $0. 71. The daily relative strength index, RSI, has fallen sharply below 40, indicating bear activity in XRP. A large volume from a higher zone can lead to an even greater drop in the asset. The live XRP price today is $0.88 US dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of 3,740,000,000 US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.